Pictures, the darling of stage and screen, is about to give a press interview on the occasion of her most recent success, Blonde Preferred Gentleman. Come in. What a surprise. You want an interview? Buster Beecham, the star reporter, has a very portable typewriter. He can type standing or even walking. You attribute your success to what, Miss Withers? Well, it all happened like this. I was at a finishing school, and we were out for our morning walk. Mr. Dingwell Gooseberry was counting us, as was his wont. All present? Step into line, please. Now, ladies, left turn, quick march. Halt, one, two. But Susie gives them the slip and joins Jimmy Fellows at the stage door of the famous Gaiety Theater. You made it, says Jimmy. Have you been practicing your steps? Watch me, says Susie. Mr. Gooseberry is counting his charges again, just to make sure. Gracious me, there's one missing. Officer, officer, he calls. One of my young ladies is missing. Consorting with actors, says Dingwell Gooseberry. Be gone, young man. Susan, come with me. Ring around the rosy, sing the young ladies of Mr. Dingwell Gooseberry's finishing school. Ladies, please, says the principal. Left turn? No, not you. Here come the posse of young ladies. Halt, one, two. Dismiss. No, not you, Susan. If ever you hang around stage doors again, I'll tell your father, says the stern upholder of proprieties, Dingwell Gooseberry. Who's this? It's Jimmy Fellows. Dressed in the natty suit of a man about town. A note for Miss Susan Winters. Sorry, it's against regulations. Oh, thank you, sir. The housekeeper delivers Jimmy's note, and Susie reads breathlessly. Everything is set for you to join the chorus tonight. I'll be waiting for you downstairs, signed Jimmy. But Dingwell Gooseberry sees the visitor in the hall and recognizes Susie's actor friend. Dreadful, getting one of my young ladies involved in play acting, he says. Be off, be off, young man. And don't let me see you again. But Jimmy is not daunted by the icy decorum of the principal. It's Susie's big chance. Ah, why not call her? Yoo-hoo! I'll be right down, Jimmy. Her roommate has a plan. She has a suit of men's clothes stashed away. And the change is made in the twinkling of an eye. What a transformation, giggles Susie. See if the coast is clear. Whoops, a man! Susie has a good laugh. It's only me, she tells her classmates and explains the plan. Her roommate warns the principal. Don't panic, ladies, says Dingwell Gooseberry. Young man, out. says Jimmy. Show starts at 8.30. Susie's introduced to the producer, Solly Sutz. She'll do, he says. The dressing room's upstairs. Ah, the smell of grease paint. It's food and drink to the aspiring actress, Susan Winters. Who's 
this. It's Dr. Siegfried Winters, that famous trainer of singing canaries. He's come to see his daughter, Susie. Ah, uh, Dr. Winters, you must want to see Susan. I'll fetch her. But when Dingwell Gooseberry gets to Susie's room, he learns to his horror where she is. I'm ruined. I have been called the Acme of Decorum, am undone. All ready, girls. Dingwell Gooseberry is hot on the trail of Susie. You can't go in there. What's this? A ladder. Well, I'll see where it goes. Anybody about? Careful now, Gooseberry. Hmm, this is an odd room. Smells of grease paint. Look out, Gooseberry. Somebody's coming. In comes the chorus after their first dance routine. You did fine, Susie, the girls are saying. Susie is thrilled to the core. But who's this interloper in the girls' dressing room? Ingwell Gooseberry has thrown proprieties to the winds. Girls, rescue me, cries Susie. Don't let him take me away. Keeper, you leave the young ladies alone. Get going. <laughs> that was neatly contrived. <laughs> Dingwell's dumped out in the room of the wardrobe mistress. While Jimmy and Susie chat happily, the next routine is the dance of the toy soldiers. Ingwell's going to get into the act. Not if the producer knows it. The finishing school principal doesn't look much like a toy soldier. and quite undone. But Dingwell Gooseberry is dauntless. He just has to rescue Susie. 
She's been entrusted to his charge by that famous trainer of canaries, Dr. Winters, and he's going to do his duty, come what may. I'm looking for the producer, sir. Yes, a little tip and a smile does the trick. Careful now, Dingwell. One slip and the stagehands will throw you further than a slingshot can throw a meatball. Dr. Winters is getting a trifle impatient. Where's my dutiful daughter, sir? But who's this? Why, it must be Calamity Jane herself. Careful, Dingwell. That's all right for people on the range, but people are liable to see through that disguise here. Got you, cries Calamity Jane. Help, help me, help, help. There's your daughter, sir, says Dingwell proudly. Monstrous, says Dr. Winter. But Daddy, grease paint is in my blood. He's your father, let me take care of him. Dingwell of Gooseberry thinks, now I've seen all. A respectable man like an instructor for singing canaries getting mixed up with dancing in the stage. <laughs> a terrific story, says Hapgood Houndstooth, the press photographer. How about a picture, Miss Winters? If you insist. And thus it was that Buster Boothomp that star reporter got his story of stage struck Susie. <laughs>